Hey everyone! So for this tutorial I am going to be uh, recreating the look that Sandra Bullock wore to the Change Up premiere very recently, it was only a couple of days ago. I thought she looked beautiful, she was just wearing this, this beautiful black um, jumpsuit. Uh, gorgeous jewellery and her makeup was really nice. It's very understated but still quite smoky so that's what I've gone for today. She looked absolutely stunning and I love Sandra Bullock. She is kind of, um, she's so effortlessly classy and elegant. She's just, she's in the same camp um, in my opinion as Jennifer Aniston. She always looks the same. She always looks so effortless and glamorous and it's just, uh, yeah. Uh, they always look beautiful, so um, I was really excited to do this tutorial when I saw the pictures because um, I don't often get to do too many celebrity tutorials because celebrities don't tend to change up their makeup that much. But uh, yeah, this was a different look for Sandra. Um, hadn't really seen her wear anything similar to this before, so I thought I would give it a go. So uh, yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. To start off this look, I am going to be using an eye primer. I'm going to be using Senna's Totally Transforming Eyeshadow Primer in shade 1. This is a very creamy... Um, consistency but it really does help kind of extra shimmery eyeshadows to stick a little bit better so I'm going to put that on all over I'm now going to be taking the Topshop um, eyeshadow duo in Meteoric I'm just going to be using the platinum shade so I'm not going to use this burgundy shade just to, just going to use this one I'm going to take that on a J Glamour shader brush you can use any brush you like it really doesn't matter tap off the excess and I'm just going to put that all over the lid it's really really simple So that's the platinum shade all on. I'm now going to be taking the Naked palette and I'm going to be using the colour Naked from the Naked palette and it is just this matte, um, very dark, kind of, well it's not that dark, it's kind of like a cafe latte brown. And I'm just going to be taking a tiny little touch of that on a Urban Decay 24-7 blending brush and I am going to kind of map out a crease. So if you can see here, this is all eyeshadow but it just looks like natural shading so I don't want my eyes to get swamped in all the platinum. So I'm going to just hit above my crease, just here, and move that back and forth, up quite high, into the inner corner. Now I am going to take the number 7 um, Essentials palette, this was limited edition, but all I'm going to use from this is just the off-white satin colour, just for my highlight. You can get a colour like this from anywhere, pretty much. And I'm just going to pop that on under my brows. If you look at the pictures of Sandra that I posted below, you'll see that the um, look is very eyeliner heavy, um, but it's kind of smoky at the same time, so it doesn't look too overpowering. So I'm just going to be using this to line my top lashes. I'm not going to wing it out, I'm just going to kind of stop at the edge. Then I'm going to tight line and line my lower waterline. I'm just going to take the Meteoric, the Platinum, and just put that underneath my lower lash line. Right the way around. In the inner corner, I also took a big fluffy brush like this and just a shimmery white. This is bumped along my front cover and just swirled that in there and just pop that in the inner corner just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Just like that. Um, then for the dark kind of smokiness that we've got on the outer portion, I'm just going to take the same eyeliner again. And just smoke that out underneath the lower lashes. Don't want to come too far down. And just stop when you get about halfway. Then I am going to take the same brush that I used to apply the platinum in the inner corner and I'm just going to gently smudge that eyeliner out a little bit. 
and apply my mascara. I'm currently using the Urban Decay Cannibal Waterproof Mascara. Um, Sandra did have on full sashes in the pictures that I saw, but um, yeah, I mean, you can add those if you like. She had little kind of outer lashes on, but very, very pretty. You can add those. I'm not going to bother, but um, yeah, if you're going to want if you want to amp it up for evening then that would be quite a nice touch so I'm going to apply my mascara and I'm about to show you the rest of the look right, guys, so that's the finished eyes super understated um, you know you, could, you don't have to have all the dark liner but um, I think it's really really pretty and it's kind of unusual makeup to see on um, Sandra because uh, she usually goes very kind of minimalistic and this is still kind of minimal but I really like the um, liner, it just kind of amps out, makes it a little bit more sexy. So, for the cheeks, I am going to be using if I can find it. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to be using just a contour, a tiny little bit because she didn't have too much contour going on, but she definitely had some. I'm going to be using the Royal Lafine Bro um, Bright and Bronze Mineral Powder in Nude just to um, add a little bit of definition. Then for blush, I am going to be using the um, Senna Diva Divine palette, and I'm going to be using the pink side of the Mademoiselle blush. I'm going to be using this pink side because she had this really pretty glow pink cheek on in the pictures. So I'm just going to put that just kind of at the back of the cheek. Just like so. And then for highlight, I am just going to be using a little bit of the Inspiration Highlighter from Senna. That comes in this palette, and I'm just gonna put that here, and I'm gonna put it quite far into the center of my face because if you look at the pictures, she has a lot of kind of dewiness going on around her cheek area, like the middle of her cheeks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that just there. Now for the lips, um, if you look at the pictures, you can see she has this really beautiful dewy kind of pinky peach lip going on. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of L'Oreal's Color Rouge lipstick in Peach Creme, which is number four five four. I'm just going to put a small amount of that on first. I've just sheared it out, I haven't put too much on. And then over the top, to finish it off, I am going to be using a touch of the Smashbox Lip Enhancing Mega Gloss in Celebrity. Just this beautiful one. I'm just going to put that um, in the center and I'll share it out in a minute. It looks like this. Just like that. And that is the finished look, guys. That is my Sandra Bullock um, at the Change Up premiere inspired makeup tutorial. Um, yeah, I just I just thought she looked fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I will post the products that I use down below in the description box. Make sure you check out my blog, wildcatmakeup.com, for uh, more updates and kind of product reviews and things that you might not see on this channel. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for subscribing if you have. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone.